Furthermore, we move over. So we did, as I told, branches of calculation, that is differentiation, wherein you find the change in one quantity with respect to another quantity. So we did this already. Integration, of course, as I told you, after you break it up into the tiniest possible changes, collect all those changes. I told you the example of you find the speed in the tiniest distance covered in each of the tiniest intervals and then integrate all those small small distances covered in various types of tiny intervals and integrate them for the entire journey that gives you the overall idea of speed during the entire journey in differentiation you found the speed in each tiny interval and integration you sum up all those tiny intervals distance traveled in those tiny intervals and give you the entire picture of the entire journey that is what is called integration as we often use the word integration is to collect things together sum up things together right whereas differentiation is breaking up things so it's two on a similar parallel it derivatives or differentiation is like analyzing a function breaking it up into tiny tiny things and observing the change in each of these things integration is synthesis which is nothing but collecting all these tiny changes and creating a larger picture of the whole particular parameter or the whole particular function that is what is integration all right so that's what is a basic rough idea of what calculus could be right so now we move over to differentiation now we have already explained what differentiation is now since today's session is in any case about differentiation we will rather move over to the next session that is what is index we did about differentiation which is basically nothing but uh, what is the change in a particular function with respect to another function with which it is related we will be taking up some simple formulae regarding various types of functions you have the e functions logarithmic functions then the simple functions basically what is the derivative you know yes then we will be taking up addition and subtraction rules suppose you have to find differentiate two particular functions one function plus another function right in that case how do you find the basically you're going to find the derivative of the first function and derivative of the second function and then add or subtract as per the rule Product and quotient rule, suppose you have two functions f of x into g of x and I want to find the derivative of this. Now when you talk about derivative, suppose there is a function y is equal to 2x squared. So how do you write, how do you differentiate it? You are going to d upon dx, that is dy upon dx is what you will say. So you are going to differentiate this particular function with respect to x so which will be saying as d by dx of 2x squared so you derive you are finding the derivative of this function with respect to x so suppose similar to that we may have two functions multiplied with each other and i want to find the derivative of the product then what rule do we use right quotient rule suppose i have a function f of x and which is divided by g of x then how do we find the relationship between them so basically that's what we will do then we have chain rule chain rule is also called derivative of composite function yes of a composite function which means you will be basically there is a particular function within another function that is f of g of x then how do you find so we have to first find the derivative of this function and then multiply it by the derivative of the function of which this is a function which of course right now you may get a little confused but when we actually do it you will come to know then there are logarithmic expressions sometimes you may have an expression like y is equal to x raised to x well and this is a variable this is a variable this is a variable then how can you differentiate because everything has to be differentiated then we take the help of logarithmic functions or logarithmic expressions. You convert them to log y. So then you have log y taking logarithm on both sides. You log x raised to x. So that now it becomes log y is equal to x log x. 
then we apply these rules product rules to differentiate and the common rules of differentiation we shall use then parametric functions parametric functions as we know we have done y is equal to say 4x squared i find the derivative dy by dx fine but suppose I have a situation wherein I have y is a function which is 4at square and x is also related to another function 2at. So what's happening? y and x are not directly related but each of them is related to another variable t. So it's like a transitive property. So if y is related to t and x is related to t, how can you relate y and x through the concept of differentiation? That is what you mean by parametric functions. How do you find? Don't worry, these are not, they may look a little scary right now, but then once you start doing and get into the flow of it, it should be, it will be a clear cakewalk. And of course, it, the prerequisite is that without any uh, further thing, it's very much necessary that you need to keep practicing because you have a tendency to keep forgetting the formulae often when you're not in touch. Otherwise, it's a very simple concept. And then you have implicit functions. Suppose you have a function like this. y is equal to 2x squared plus x. Now, this is called an explicit function. Now, why do you call it an explicit function? Because it is very explicitly or clearly mentioned that y is a function of x. y is related to x such that each y is x more than twice the square of x. So, you are expressing y in terms of x. But suppose you have a function like this 2x square y plus 2y square x plus 3y plus 4x is equal to 0. If you have something like this. Now, here it is an implicit function. You can bring it to this form. But here it is not mentioned both x and y could be expressed in terms of the other. It's a just a way of how you express. You can express this also as an implicit function, but uh, as an explicit function. But this is called an implicit because you have to understand within this that both of them are functions of each other. So how do you basically find the derivative of this? So these things we will be picking up again. And you have second derivatives. Now, all these functions, once you start doing, you'll find that all of them are related to each other. So, there is no clear cut demarcation. This is an implicit function. So, you have to do, for example, when you do implicit function, you may have to use chain rule for doing product and quotient rule. For chain rule, you will have to use product and quotient rule, any such thing. So, they are all related. Now, the concept of second derivative is what? Suppose you have a function y is equal to 3x squared. So, you find the first derivative which is going to be f dash x we say, okay. So, y that is f of x is this. So, you find the first derivative which is also called dy by dx and after you find dy by dx, suppose you get a function after finding derivative of this, you may get suppose 6 of x. Find the derivative of this once more. This is called second derivative. This is very much important to find out maxima or minima of a particular function. Hence, we need to be aware of as to when to do the concept of second derivative. So, if the first derivative is dy by dx, the second derivative is written as d square y by dx squared. Okay. Now, this should not be mixed up. This is not the same as dy by dx the whole square. In this case, for example, dy by dx the whole square is 6x the whole square, 36x square, right? But d square y by dx square will be obtained when you further find the derivative of this, right? So, as said earlier, these are the various rules, but as I told, all these rules are related to each other. So, there is no clear cut demarcation or a boundary that when you use this, you cannot use this. You may have to combine two or three rules. Of course, the concept of second derivative is a little away. It uses all these things again. So, these are the concept of uh, derivatives. Now, we'll move further down.